Hi pipe smokers, it's Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York, and uh, one of my subscribers, Ray Ray, uh, saw that I bought some Macanudo Maduro cigars, and uh, said he'd love to see a review on those, so uh, we're going to do that, and actually, uh, these ones are 60 gauge, they're big. This is a commitment. This is like a over a one hour commitment. So I'll teach you what I know and uh, about not only lighting the cigar, but uh, about the cigar. And actually, if you can't finish it, about properly storing it afterwards. So that's a big boy. That's a 60 gauge. Yeah. So, we have our uh, 69 Bourbons cutter, stainless steel cutter. You have to cut the end off the cigar where you're going to, if I can get this open, we're going to inhale the wonderful smoke through. And uh, a little bit about the cigar. Uh, it's made by Macanudo, who's been around forever. Uh, they have wonderful cigars, and uh, this is actually a Connecticut Shade wrapper. And the filler in it is uh, Dominican filler and uh, Mexican seed filler. And it's supposed to give you a dark, chocolatey, nutty flavor. Uh, normally I don't do cigar reviews because, uh, they are a commitment, but I did look up on YouTube on how to properly store a cigar afterwards. So we're going to cut the end off this, just like that. So we cut the cap off. Mm. Bit of a firm drop. Mm. Mm, this cigar is good. And when I light my cigars, I use a torch lighter, like so. Now, you don't just light it up, all right? You kind of hold the torch, because this is very, very hot. About two inches away from the end of the cigar, you want an even light. So once you have that charred, charred a little bit more, you don't want to put it all the way up to that blue flame. So then when it's time to light it, put it at about a 45 degree angle like so. And you take long puffs, not short ones. Mm. Long drags, and you look at the end of your cigar, you blow on it just to see that you have it evenly lit up, which we do. Ah, yes. That is a big, fat cigar. Like I said, that's about a one-hour commitment right there. Mm. Love Dominican Republic Maduros. And yes, uh, if I have a mellow cigar like this, uh, Macanudo, I will inhale it sometimes mm. there I just nailed it and as you can see she's burning pretty evenly nice white ash mm. that is a cigar 
definitely should have some bourbon with that, but I'm not going to. Mm. Inhaled again. The taste is very mild. All these Macanudo cigars, I mean, you're going to get what you pay for when it comes to a cigar. Very mild. Mm. Kind of a uh, nutty flavor. That's the fattest cigar I've ever smoked. Uh, I normally like the 50 gauge Robustos, which are a little smaller than this, but that's that's a big ass cigar. Mmm. Macanudo Maduro. Ah, nice job. Mmm. Gonna have to open up all the doors and windows in the house when I'm done. It does create a lot of smoke. Yes, Ray Ray, I would definitely, definitely buy these again. I bought a pack of five and was shipping and everything. It was 40 some odd dollars. So I've shown you how to properly light a cigar in retrospect. You don't hold the torch all the way on it. You hold it about two inches away. Toast the end. When the end's all toasted, you hold it at about a 45 degree angle, but never on the blue flame. That's way too hot. It'll burn the tobacco where it tastes bitter. Mmm. That is good. Yeah, she's burning pretty evenly. Mm, what a great taste. Oh, yeah. Look at how big that thing is. Uh, yeah. And the draw on this is just perfect. It's like sipping a milkshake. I got some General Grant cigars in one time. Uh, they were on like a six month back order. <clears throat> <clears throat> The General Grant cigars came in and they seemed damp, really, really damp. And they seemed loose. And then uh, I did watch a uh, cigar video on YouTube. And they were saying that uh, if your cigar comes in damp, just let it sit in the box for a while, dry out. Because when they put the wrapper on, the outside wrapper that covers the binding, the filler... Um, it's wet and then when it starts to dry out it shrinks and compacts that filler at first I wasn't impressed I had to do another review on them if you can get a hold of some General Grant cigars which you can now off of pipesandcigars.com don't be afraid to buy them uh, I bought the 42 gauge ones that are like four and a half inches long. They're quite awesome. Made in the Dominican Republic. Mm. Now let's say that uh, 
you're done smoking your cigar. Or you're outside, you can't smoke inside, it starts to rain or the weather gets bad. What do you do? Do you just throw the whole thing away? I mean, it's a pretty much a $10 cigar. Mm -mm. Uh, I watched a little YouTube trick. Because uh, I looked it up. and was Because I knew I was going to do this review for Mr. Ray Ray one of my subscribers, and uh, I was like, uh, I don't have an hour to sit and smoke this cigar in my house, so what do I do? Ah. All right, I've had a couple of bush beers. I have to uh, go relieve some pressure, and I'll be right back. And I'll tell you how to store the cigars. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. So taught you how to light the cigar. Did the review, taught you how to smoke it. Yeah, and I did inhale that one. So, what do you do? You don't flick the ash off or stamp it out. What you do is you set it down, and actually what you do is you purge it. So, purging is blowing the smoke out. So we do that. So I'm blowing through the back of the cigar to the front. I'm getting all that smoke out of there. We do that a few times. Let's let it sit in the ashtray for about 10 minutes till it goes out. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we've let this sit for about 10 minutes. It's totally gone out. And I realized my cigar cutter will not cut this thing because it's only goes up to a 50 gauge, and that's a 60 gauge cigar. So what do we do? take a very sharp knife cut it about a half inch behind the ash and we're gonna gently cut this off yes and there we go and away she goes so we are left with this, which is called a Robusto, I suppose. Then what we do is we blow through it again. A few times. To kind of irrigate. out any other smoke. All right, so we're left with kind of a Robusto with a shaggy end a little bit, you know. I don't know. That's the best my knife could do. This cutter, it would just wouldn't fit in there. So anyways, so you do not want to store with this with the rest of your cigars. I mean, you can, but Take a plastic baggie, open her up, place your unfinished cigar in the baggie, remove any air that you can out of it, seal it up, 
and you are good to go for the next time. Now, so I basically smoked uh, about, well, between cutting and so forth, about half that cigar is gone, but I didn't want to dedicate an hour to this. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Maduro, Macanudo Maduro 60 gauge cigar. Yeah. That one's for you, Ray Ray. You wanted to see it. <laughs> Who wants to see a punch cigar review. I have some punch cigars. I could do a review on them in no time. Anyways, Paul the Pipe Guy, hope you enjoyed my cigar review of the Macanudo Maduro, which is phenomenal. If you get a chance to pick some up, pick them up. Over and out. <laughs>